cyber security, I think. The space industry, computer vision. So, um, yeah, currently there's your, there's a lot of fields and computer engineers, there's also, it's a wide variety we can go into, but there's quite a few things I find very interesting. Um, like cyber security, I think is a very big step nowadays with everything going on. There's not a lot of privacy in today's world and you know, just protecting people's information, I think is quite important. Um, AI is also super cool, but also very difficult. And maths. yeah, the maths is very difficult and it's, it's something you really have to have a passion for to love it and do it for your whole career. So in the end, I think I might go something like with our module ERD, which we had to design our microcontroller, the state machines and everything. That was very interesting. So I'd like to do something that's um, software based, but that has some hardware that you code, but not complete software, not complete hardware. So I think that is something I would be looking into. So obviously defense companies are awesome to work for. Um, but yeah, otherwise I would go, I think I would, something I would really like is um, going to the medical, you know, medical field where they build, um, you know, like for people that are deaf and, you know, cochlear implants, those kind of stuff. I think that would be really cool. But yeah, we'll only know <laughs> when we get there with we'll finding a project. Yeah, so my current plan, or it's been my plan for a while, is to get into the space industry. So, um, yeah, I'd love to work on software or electronics for pretty much anything to do with space, rockets, satellites. I think that would be really cool and interesting. Career, definitely dream career. What I've worked so hard for, exotic dancer. Uh, I'm just gonna, I don't know if you see Magic Mike, that's about future me. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, one thing, uh, our degrees taught me is that I don't enjoy hardware and I don't like so maybe it's the engineering bit that I don't like I just I love the software like coding is my favorite I'm good at it and I enjoy it so I'd probably say some sort of software based career um, yeah probably within the engineering field and science and maths but I don't I don't see myself doing like big engineering projects with hardware and that kind of stuff um, yeah, probably just coding, some sort of software engineering. I don't quite know about my career yet. I made a whole video about it, but I'm pretty sure I might. Uh, I'm going to end up in some kind of technology-based job. Something to do with technology, space travel, AI. Uh, those industries are the most exciting to me at the moment. And I, I would just like to do uh, space travel. I would just like to do something impactful one day. Uh, build a product or a service that a lot of people use and that uh, you know changes people's lives or just helps people or just create, you know, some, do something big and impactful. Uh, and probably in the technology sphere because that's the, the sector that I'm most interested in. Uh, specific careers, probably software engineering straight after varsity because that's where my skill set is and where uh, the money is in South Africa. And after that, you know, move into other realms like AI or space travel, uh, whatever holds the most promise and yeah, go to start, start working on those, <laughs> that LinkedIn profile. So I have nothing uh, solidly planned, but if I had to answer at the moment, I'm far more interested in um, software development more so than hardware development so I'd be really keen to work in a, a software company I am really interested I know it's quite a generic answer but I am really interested in AI I think it's um, already a huge part of software in the 21st century but uh, continually growing um, and in terms of some hardware things that I'm really interested in I, I do like the idea of robotics co um, companies like uh, Boston Dynamics, those companies that are doing um, new things that are just, yeah, like small teams working on interesting hardware projects is the thing that I'd be interested in. Because I can definitely see where current technology is heading toward and I definitely feel like I'll end up in the computer vision industry, which is very similar to what I did for my final year thesis project to involve photogrammetry technology, which is uh, part of computer vision. Um, just in short, computer vision is a field where computers need to understand the world around them and there's ways of computers then going and identifying objects and mapping out the environment and then using that knowledge to complete whatever tasks they're given. So something like drones for agri agricultural tech or self-driving cars, easy one there. Uh, yeah, but definitely computer vision, um, that's where I see myself going. Other forms of AI and that? You would be keen on working on that? AI, for me, I don't know, it's a, it's a fine line between 
the ARs that are going to take over the world and AR that take over uh, mundane trials for humans. So I don't know if I'll dive into the artificial intelligence space fully, but um, computer vision uses AI in a way. So it will definitely be something that I'll dip my toes into, but I don't think I'll be diving into it. As I said, the research I'm hopefully going to be working on in the next few years is focused around computer vision. Um, specifically, I'm looking at something called 3D vision, which has got to do with like the extraction of 3D information, understanding 3D information um, from images, whereas a lot of the research that's happening now has got to do with just like static 2D images and like what object is in this position, what object is in another position. Um, so I want to work in something related to that, but I really want to work in the robotics applications of computer vision. And you can think of autonomous vehicles as like one of the prime examples of that. Or, or intelligent drone systems as well. So if I could end up working at um, one of the cutting edge technology companies that works in that field and even eventually met one day maybe like Tesla or something like that, um, I'd be very, very chuffed with that. So there's a few things that interest me. The, the three in an engineering sense would probably be automotive, most definitely. And then probably something in the film video space, I don't know, with cameras or editing or that's something I don't think that's gonna go away. Um, and then maybe biomedical, but I think with the world being where it is now, I'm a bit turned off by that field. But I think automotive is probably, with, with what we have with this degree, with the whole value chain from like building motors all the way to software, going through electric cars and that transition, I think that could be a very exciting field. Any particular companies? German ones. Um, maybe not, yeah. I don't know, I'd, I'd, maybe some of the Japanese ones or the French ones, but I definitely think I'd be interested in Germany and then within Germany, something like Porsche, maybe Mercedes, uh, BMW, Audi, all of those, but looking at the ones that, that stay true to like what's fun about cars would probably be Porsche. Now they seem a bit like the big top heavy run by accountant kind of companies. So my project was pretty much like a machine learning kind of geared towards project. Um, I enjoyed that. I'm less of a hardware guy, I prefer the software stuff. So I think I'm gonna try stay in software development. And I guess like embedded software development at least like you can do like the deep learning kind of projects and still have that element of embedded design. So yeah, I'm thinking about staying in a field like that at the moment. Okay. Um, yeah, I just don't like stats, which is a problem because a lot of stats are in machine learning. Yeah. So, you know. But it's nice though, you know. The thing, like, I'm willing to jump into anything, like, get some experience in it, and that way I think over the years you sort of learn more about yourself, more about your interests, and then maybe along the line do a master's somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> see, yeah. You're considering doing a master's? Not at the moment, not straight after this, but maybe honors and masters at some point, you know? Okay. If I if I get into industry and like working with the things hands on, like, fascinates me that much and I had no one specific topic on it, then yeah, I wouldn't be opposed to it, you know? Okay. Yeah.